everyone, welcome to NSC TV, your behind the scenes look at the National Sports Center. I'm your host Scott Clayson, and today we are here at the Schwann Super Rink, where this past weekend we hosted the One Hockey Gone Wild Tournament. This was a really unique event that drew teams from literally all over the world. We'll bring you that story in a couple of minutes. But first, Schwann's USA Cup was at the National Soccer Coaches Convention in Indianapolis this past weekend as well. This is a great opportunity for us to talk to teams from around the country about attending the 2013 event. We also made a big announcement at the convention. We have a new presenting sponsor. So now the tournament is going to be called officially Schwann's USA Cup powered by Sport Engine. Now Sport Engine is a technology company that provides solutions for clubs, tournaments, events, and a variety of sports. So we had a chance to talk to them because they were as well in Indianapolis. And let's just see the sights and sounds of NSCAA. The crowd is eagerly awaiting entrance to the NSCAA convention. Come in for the social night. Here they come. They're coming in to get their drink tickets. We're at NSCA, the National Soccer Coaches Association of America trade show. Uh, here visiting with vendors, uh, potential sponsors, teams, coaches, associations. Uh, what drove Sport Engine to decide to become the presenting sponsor of the tournament? I mean, it's, it's the largest youth soccer tournament in the Western Hemisphere, so we'd be crazy not to want to be involved with it. Having the opportunity to have our technology power uh, power the tournament um, is uh, it's just going to be a great for us a great proof point as to how our technology works and to be able to really understand how these large scale events uh, happen and to be part of it is just uh, it's something we couldn't turn down. For brand recognition, it's really important for Schwann's USA Cup to be at NSCAA uh, to get the word out. Have people say hi to old friends and just visit with other tournaments as well. Sport Engine actually got their start in the hockey world, so they're very familiar with all the events and programs we do here over at the Super Inc., including this one Hockey Gone Wild tournament that we hosted this past weekend. We had teams from all over the United States, from Canada, and even as far away as Latvia. So, of course, NSC TV was there, so let's take a look. This is our 10th year this year. Uh, we're, we, we've been organizing tournaments since 2003. We're known strictly for spring and summer tournaments. Uh, we have a big one in Philadelphia every year, one in Boston. We've had some in uh, British Columbia, Alberta. And just this year we realized that it's time now for us to start bringing our tournament uh, atmosphere and, uh, and, and organization to winter hockey. My father used to run hockey tournaments in my hometown for, it started in 1989 in Sherbrooke, Quebec. And he did this for eight years. He brought in 25 countries in his tournament over the lapse of eight years. And his tournaments were always fun, and mascots, music, things like you see here, vendors, player of the game awards, you know, like special gifts for the kids, champagne for the winners, you know, not, no alcohol, obviously. but fun things for the kids, and we wanted to do the same thing with our tournaments and make them fun for them. After myself coached for several years after I had finished playing professional hockey, I started to take teams to several tournaments across the country, in the US and Canada, and I was always disappointed about the tournaments I took my teams to. They were not fun for the kids, they were not, didn't have the feel of a tournament, and one hockey is, is that. It's a tournament feel, and nothing out there compares to it. 
Super Rink is, uh, to, uh, to me, we have, we've seen a lot of buildings in the last 10 years. Nothing compares to this. It's the best building in the world, I think, especially to run a tournament. People here are incredible. Uh, they're helpful. The setup is just unheard of. We'll be back for many years uh, at the Super Rink. Well, as you can imagine, for a lot of these teams traveling from around the United States, from Canada and for Lafia, experiencing the Schwann Super Rink and eight sheets of ice under one roof was quite a unique experience for them. They've never seen a facility quite like this. And that is going to do it for today's episode of NSC TV. As always, find us on our website, nscsports.org. I'm your host, Scott Clayson. All right, we're with Hans Niska here, former operations director of the National Sports Center. Hans, what did you build? <laughs> Point it out to us. I built this, the, with, along with Aaron Kosky. Where's your truck? Show us your truck. My truck's right there, so this is a really old picture. You should probably get this updated. Yeah, we do need to get it updated. So Hans, tell us. We're in the process of building this when the picture it's was old enough. Yeah, so this is like 06. 10 years old. I think 06 is when we built those rinks. Okay, I, I think that'll probably do. <laughs> I just well, do the best you can there, Jake, with that footage. <laughs> we'll try again tomorrow. <laughs>